So what's up guys, welcome to a brand new video on the Offstock channel. Today we've got a good little treat for you. It's my mate uh, Zach's Toyota Yaris T-Sport 2003. I can't wait to take it out for a little spin, chat to him and see what's going on with the car. I'm going by the owner Zach and uh, yeah, stunning motor mate to be fair. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's alright. It's cost me a fair bit. Quick disclaimer. Flipping out, this is weird having the camera pointed at me and not being... <laughs> it's <laughs> like, one of them things. Because I've seen YouTube life, this car's grim. I did clean it out a couple of days ago and um, it rained and I've been out since and it's grim. I haven't had the time to clean it yet. Uh, so apologies if it's dirty, but yeah. So, um, yeah, what is it you want to know? Well, pretty much like uh, obviously what specs, what modifications, or, you know, a little bit of, if you want, like a little bit of uh, fun fact on them. If there's anything that people don't know about them, let them know. Crikey, right, so, right, so fun facts about this one. Uh, I know three of the previous owners of it. Nice. Uh, so I know that it's been well cared for, stuff like that. For those of you that actually follow my channel, uh, you would have heard me say that in a few videos sort of way, way back when. Um, I've had the car two years. When I bought the car, it only came with the RSR back box and it came lowered and it came with two windows. Other than that, it was completely standard. So everything you see with it now is what I've done. So to start off with, um, like I said, it's got an RSR back box on it which is incredibly rare over here in the UK. I think there's like five of them in the UK or something like that. Obviously that would be, so to interrupt, that'd be like something like JDM spec or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that, they only come from Japan. Uh, it's lowered, uh, I want to say 40 mil rear, 38 front on Tyne lowering springs. Um, it's got 5% window tint on by KM Tints, which is one of my uh, sponsors. So unfortunately, he's not doing tinting at the moment, but he, he is a sponsor of the channel. And to be fair, guys, I can shout him out as well because he done my tints on my car as well, to be fair, which obviously, again, it's going to be a little plug for your channel, mate, but yeah. you done a bit, you done a review on it, so 
yeah, yeah, if you want to, guys, just go over to his channel once it's released. When we're, when we're talking about this week uh, or next? The ne it's the next video to be released on my channel, so I, I need to edit it. So, yeah, anyway. Yeah, so if, this, this week it'll be up. Yeah. So, anyway, guys, if you're not a mem not subscribed to him, go over to his channel. I'll leave a link in the description like I did in the introduction video. Obviously, to be fair, this man kind of got me into the, doing all this, to be fair. <laughs> oh, I don't say that. Nah, uh, you did. You did. Worst mistake of your life. Um, right, so yeah. What have we gone over? RSR, Tyne Iron Springs, window tints. Uh, it's got booster styling eyelids. One of two genuine sets in the UK. So I've heard. Yeah. Don't know how true that is. Maybe. Uh, custom gel T-Sport overlays. Uh, yeah. Done by Graphic 66. Yeah, I've got that in the uh, cinematics, so... You'll be seeing that, guys. Uh, and then the wheels. This is a really interesting story. So, yes, they look like NKRPF ones, but if anything, NKRPF ones are actually reps of these. So, a little bit of a backstory. NK were designing the R RPF ones. I think in like 1992, I think it was, and they came up with this design. But they decided they didn't like it, so they wanted to make a few alterations. So what they had done is they sold this design to another Japanese company. Called, I think it's like Black Racing or Black Motorsport, something like that. Sold it to them, who then produced the wheels. And this is what these are. These are Black Racing, I can't remember the generation of them, but yeah, they're Black Racing wheels and they're actually the original NK RPF1 design. So I've heard again. Um, and then if you duck down under here, we've got MTech dimpled and grooved discs. Yeah. And I've got padded pads, which is why these wheels are near enough black and not bronze to be fair i'm liking the little cadbury's purple calipers as well which have been picked up on the camera and the um neo prime wheel nuts as well yeah these wheels yeah. have been refurbished in bronze as well um it is a nice um, color to be fair the color combination it's is... a nice color when they're clean yeah <laughs> but they're grim because but you know patchy pads horrible. the color combination with obviously the car color and the bronze actually do set it off to be fair oh yeah definitely it's just yeah. one of them color combinations you, you get a bit of wheel the back wheel's a little bit better than uh -huh. but because of because of padded pads they're, they're Great dusty as anything, so yeah, you can sort of see how yeah, bronze they I can are. see that, but um, but yeah. but yeah, so yeah, I've got the M Tech discs and the Paget pads all round ready for track. Coming to the back of the car, we've got a booster styling spoiler, these look a lot like the Mark II Yaris SR spoilers. I was not. gonna say that they've yeah, got uh, they're not, they're, so they're totally different. I've heard this is the only one in the UK, don't know how true that is, but maybe that's what it is. Following down from that, we've got the crystal LED tail lights. These come in two designs, the clear smoke that you see here and uh, red ones. Yeah. The red ones are common as anything. These and they're are, a little bit more rare. I think there's eight to 10 sets of these ones in the UK. There's loads of the red ones in the UK. So mm. again, I've gone for exclusiveness because I want to be different. Oh yeah, nothing um, wrong with that, mate. Round to the back of the car again. Obviously you've got a few stickers just for decorative yeah, reasons. Yeah, obviously your channel on the, the back. The RSR back box, so then going from the RSR back box back to the cat is a two inch uh, cat back custom exhaust, which has only recently been done. I've actually just uploaded, well, the video is uploading as we talk. For yeah, that, that's uh, all right for that. So yeah, and then after that, obviously it's your video. Yeah. Um, if I open the boot, I've Ooh, stripped I'm it out. That. Well, I say stripped it out. So it's, really? It's got the seat belts removed and the rear seats removed, and yeah. then it's got an OMP rear strut brace. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you go under the car, I don't know if you'd be able to see it, but under there somewhere, yeah, yeah, that big bar that you can see. Yeah, I can just see that. That's the white line rear anti roll bar. A very common upgrade to do on these cars. It comes with custom poly brush drop links that you have to yeah. build, <laughs> which is really interesting. <laughs> Your JDM tow hook. Yep, JDM tow hook. This is uh, pure JDM. You can find them on Amazon. Amazon special, that one is. Nothing like a bit of Amazon or even special, mate. Exactly. One of them things. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Inside here, it's all standard apart from the gear knob. The gear knob's a tall weighted one and it's um, neo chrome to go with my colour. I was going to say, with weighted gear knobs and everything like that, how do they feel? Do they feel like a bit more, like, you know? It's, oh, it's, it don't really feel any different. I mean, the standard gear knob on that sits quite low. Yeah. I want to say more higher. More higher so up, so yeah. The steering wheel, yeah. So, like, you know, so really, like I know this is going to sound thingy, but kind of the way of, say, EP3 Civics are like where they're yeah, you yeah, positioned yeah. you're driving and obviously yeah 
it's, it's more or less for more drivability and aesthetic looks, which is why I've gone for the Neo Chrome to obviously match certain accents of the car. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, because it sits so low, it's sort of like you're lunging down to grab the gear stick. So I was like, I'll get a bigger one, like a taller one, so it's closer <laughs> to the wheel. And yeah. Yeah, it's just, 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 just more for drivability. That's yeah. why that is. But uh, it's a little bit different, as in the thing of like, I'm not going to say it, but compared to like jumping from my, your car, obviously, your yeah. weekend track yeah. car. Because yeah. it is, let's be honest, it is track ready. Oh yeah, it's going on track in two weeks time. Two weeks today. Don't worry. <laughs> so if you do see him, if you do see him guys, then you know that he's gonna, he'll be on track, but if you see something ping about or like aim for something and it's silver, it's sec. <laughs> <laughs> and also as well, um, yeah, so I'll be going, I'll, hopefully if they're doing track time at Truna Fest uh, at Brands Hatch, I'll be going on track there. But I'll probably so get some footage. If, if, you, if you can, if you see me there and you see me go around track, Please don't shout Binnie because I probably will end up binning it. Uh, don't go binning it. <laughs> yeah, please but, don't um, do that. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll be hopefully on track there if they're doing track time. Um, if not, then I'll just wait for the next one. I'm going to do a little bit of disclaimer as such for myself. If you see me at Tuna Fest, we can always come up and say hi. Yeah, again so, same with me i don't buy it <laughs> we, we don't buy it the thing is if you even if it's to talk about motors we're both we'll both chew your ears off like that to be fair yeah but no um and then the last place i've got to show you yeah bloody bikes shut up oh they're over there not up there <laughs> i've got that on camera so see now they're you yeah um anyway yeah the last bit that i need to show you is under the bonnet so i'm going to quickly go around and put that okay um you'll hear the Oh no, I don't need to open, I don't need to open the door. I left the window now. Oh yeah, Team Echo window flexes as well. Oh yeah, I've got them on mine as well. And then under here, it's hot and I've only driven it for like two minutes. I've got a Smell Tanabe it. strut brace. Yeah. Um, so the rear strut brace and this strut brace are powder coated in um, what's known as Cadbury purple, but it's not Cadbury purple because Cadbury purple is my brake calipers. But it's, it's supposedly a... powder coated in Cadbury purple. It got powder coated at the same time as the wheels. And I've got a little TRD oil cap to match it. Yeah. And I've, as you can see by the sticker, there's a HKS panel filter under there. Yeah. Um, it makes the engine rev a little more, and it sort of like feels a little more responsive. Other than that, it don't really do anything. Yeah. <coughs> I will be getting a comb filter at some point, but it was a cheap upgrade that I wanted at the time, so that's what I've done. That's nice. Anyway, clean little engine bay for its year and everything like. To be fair, it's a clean motor for an O3. It is a clean motor, but. Um, it's obviously got the other things and stuff like that. But yeah, it's, but it's, it's a track toy. I'm not. I'm not looking for immaculate show car condition. No, because we were speaking obviously before filming this, and uh, I think it's like what yesterday we were speaking about it. This is pretty much your weekend toy and your track toy. It is, and uh, for those of you that follow my channel, this will momentarily be a daily again. Um, so you're going to put it back to a daily? No, no, no. no keeping it as is. Um, yeah. But momentarily it'll be a daily because the Audi's going up for sale because I'm fine changing circumstances. Mm. I don't need a family car anymore. So yeah. I'm going to go for a little more of a Larry but refined daily. Um, Which I kind of uh, know, obviously, I know, but... Hush. Yes. Well, it's <laughs> hush with what you've done with me on your chat, with your video, obviously, so it's hush with me. Yeah. But to be but, uh, fair, what I'm going to say is, when you do get it, maybe another review? If you want, I mean, it'd be standard as fuck. But yeah, but it don't to. matter. It's just the thing of like, it's a little bit of like an update, but also a review. Because yeah, we yeah. obviously, the the viewers on this channel of his probably see like, now will probably be like, oh, what's he getting? What's he getting? Oh, I want to see what it is. So yes. again, guys, if you want to see that, obviously let me know. That's only if I can find one for my budget. <laughs> You'll not, find then, one. If not, then there'll be something different. I don't know what it'd be, but the Audi's going. So uh, that's all that matters. Happy anyway. man. So guys, we're out in uh, Zach's car, he's taking me out, and obviously you can hear from it already. It's loud! Yeah, very loud. Now I'll tell you what, what are these? These are like a little one. So, quick specs on the engine and stuff like that, uh, yeah. from what I remember. It's a 1.5 uh, petrol. 16 valve, it's got VVTI, which is basically Toyota's answer to VTEC. So we've got some little bit of VTEC here. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. So yeah, it's got VVTI, it's 105 to 110 horsepower. They're different sources say different things, and it's yeah. about 146. 146 newton meters of torque, roughly. I'll tell you what, mate, like that, for 160 or whatever it is, newton meters, this warps. Oh yeah. I'm impressed with that. The way that you just put it there, guys, the way you put it there. 
Tell you what, again, like I said, like I said, these. That's like, I'll tell you what, that exhaust, mate, seriously, that does do this. It, it does. What's that? No, I was, no, that, that, no, that no, I was about one. to say, you ain't got a little bit of the old uh, pop and bang, but to be fair, when you see the cinematics, guys, you'll hear a little bit of a pop, and this thing pops, and you seriously didn't think it popped that loud or like. Uh, was it a couple of times you've heard it now? I, I've heard it a fair few times since having the cat back done. Yeah. But, um, it, I mean, like, it burbles on gear change and occasionally it will pop. It's popped a fair few times for me. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know how loud it is from the outside. So when you told me it was quite loud, I was like, oh, yeah. that's interesting. That's the thing. That's the thing because we could, with most of us, as you know, and as you guys know, we've got our cars and we're obviously we can hear it from the inside, but sometimes you don't know what it sounds like on the outside. Yeah. Oh, Hello. Pipe. Ah, nice pipe. Jolly Roger. J Jolly Rogers. Jolly Rogers. Probably seen two as well as in the little Yaris. Let's go. Oh, oh. oh mate. Yeah. 
but yeah, they're so underrated, and if, if you have one, you will get roasted for it until people actually experience them, yeah. then they'll come back and regret what they say. Yeah. Because, um, no, yeah, honestly, like, people have always roasted, I've had two of these, for those of you that don't know, and people yeah. have always roasted me for having them, oh, they're a granny car, all this sort of stuff. Yeah, they're a granny car on steroids, <laughs> never to say the least. Yeah. And they're so easy to drive as well. Mm. Like, the gearbox, don't get me wrong, the gearbox is a bit shit. It's it's quite notchy. Yeah. Uh, it's easy to slide it in and out of gears, but it is quite notchy. There's quite a lot of play in it, which is natural for it. Uh, my first one did it, this one does it. It's just a natural thing, I didn't see what it is. It is. But the thing that I like about this car as well is it's got it's got no driver assist. All it's yeah. got is ABS. It's got no traction control, you know, nothing like that, no form of stability yeah. program. It's you and the car. So really, oh, and power steering as well. Really, if you think about it, it is. Oh, I'm gonna say it, this is what I think it goes, but it is really a driver focused, a driver focused car. Yeah. But you know, you have to be obviously you have to be on point and everything like that. It's, but, a, it's like as well, like when you go out like on homes and stuff like that, and like really give it some. It's a really playful car. Like for you to get the most out of it, it's like I can't remember who I was talking to. I don't know whether it was you or someone else yeah. uh, last night. But I was saying this car's like a sponge. Yeah. You really have to squeeze it to get the maximum out of it. And when you do, it is a really fun car. Yeah. Literally, you have to work them gears. You have to dance them pedals. Like it's unbelievable what you have to do to get the full potential out of this car. But when you do, it is such a rewarding and such a fun car to drive. Yeah. And I mean. My channel is based on this car. Yeah. Because people, people, um, people say that they're, you know, they're shit and stuff like that, and it's so underrated that I want to try and get people to see this car's worth. You want people to be more aware of like it isn't shit. These cars are worth, you know, they're worth, they're worth, worth documenting and obviously praising. Because I mean, again, I. Hell, I'm just a passenger. I can't wait to, I can't wait to get behind the wheel. I'm that excited because I understand it. But I get it now. <laughs> I think I'll grin on my face as well. I know I don't look like I'm smiling in the camera, guys. But seriously, I have got shit smiles. But I've enjoyed. Like, I know this is just like the passenger side, but my driving side. That was quite a steep turn we went around. Yeah, around. a steep turn and the thing just plants. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to say as well, uh, when it comes to tyres, I've got Michelin Pilot Sport 3s on this. I was going to ask what tyres yeah, have you Yeah, got. Michelin Pilot Sport 3s and they work like a dream. But then again, what I can say, guys, and we both can agree on this, well, well not over praising the Pilot Sports, but everyone knows what the Pilot Sports are about. They're decent, really they're, good tyres. Their house is... All sort of like all season tyres that you can use on track as well, uh, which yeah. is why I've got them. I want it to be sort of like a little like street car. Yeah. And uh, I'll pull up this over here and yeah. let you jump in. Okay. But yeah, I want it to be like a little like street car. But I also want to be like yeah, I want to gun it around the track. Yeah. And that's sort of the idea behind my build. Oh yeah. It's supposed to look good enough to you know like have like street cred and all this sort of stuff. So it's yeah. supposed to look nice. But go as well. Go as well so and words, be playful. It's not like I don't want to take offence to anyone if anyone does do this style, but it's not all show and no go. There is both. Oh yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'll, I'll let you drive this in a sec before we start rambling like we did in your one. Uh, yeah. Um, which don't worry about. We did that, a half an hour segment that I'm not going to use about 20 minutes of. Yeah. Just saying because it was just rambling. But um, what was I saying? Yeah. It's not the fastest thing in the world. It's not turbocharged, nothing like that. But for the power it's got and what it is as a car, yeah, it's um, it's mental, absolutely mental. And right. this is, sorry to interrupt you, mate, but this is the thing what I want to do with the reviews, guys. Like, it's not. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind doing like the big, like you know, the big power, flame spitting, and everything like that, because everyone likes to watch it. Let's be honest, we all do a, like that type of video, but. I want to do videos like this where it's the thing of 
I'm not saying hidden gems, but the cars that are like not say, talked about. I would say hidden gems because that is what this is. I mean, like it's the same with the Ignis Sport. I've never yeah. driven an Ignis Sport, but I know I want, of them. To be fair, I did want one at one stage. The reason oh. why is because uh, it was a 1.6. No, they're 1.5s. Are they? Yeah, they're 1.5s. Right, they got corrected there. Slightly yeah. bigger engines than this because this is yeah. 1,498 cc. I which think. they round up to like uh, which, which 1. is round 5. up to 1.5, yeah. and then I think. I don't know. I think the Ignis is like one thousand four hundred and ninety nine or something like that. Yeah. But um, um yeah. To, to quickly compare them cars because they are sort of comparable. Yeah. Um, this car don't have the power, but it's got the handling. The Whereas Ignis has the power, power but, no but handling. shit handling. Yeah. Um, we can't so, have it all, can yeah. we? So this is one hundred and five horsepower. The Ignis mm. is one hundred and fifteen. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they're very much on par with each other. But, um, but yeah, anyway, yeah. I'd better let you drive yep. it. If that's okay with you, mate. Of course it is. Yeah. I mean, right. it's not going to kill you. You ain't got no, power. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm saying because I know how much this car's your baby, if you know what I mean. Like, this is your pride and joy. It's your weekend. You know what I mean? And I'm only three and a half grand deep in it as well, which is nothing for a project car. So oh, that's I'm including what, the cost of the car. No comment on how much I'm in on mine, but that's just visual stuff. That's all I'm going to say. You know how much I'm in, but they don't. No, yeah, and That's exactly. how I want to keep it. <laughs> but yeah, I'll catch you in a minute and we'll take it out for a drive. Hi oh guys, so yeah, you drive me, but now you're going to see me obviously behind the driver's seat and everything like that. Off camera, we did go the wrong way, that was my cock up. <laughs> but yeah, no, as we say about these cars, to be fair, it's a very, very lively engine, guys. When that variable valve timing uh, comes on, as you'll probably hear now. There's a cyclist in Cuba as well, ain't it, mate? Yeah, there is. You have to you have to play with them to get the yeah. full potential out of them. With turbo cars, I, I mean, I was saying this in a review video I've done recently, which is on a, a B5 RS4 Audi. Mm. Um, the thing is with like turbo cars and stuff is you've got the power supply there. All you know, all you need to do is just put your foot down, and then your power is there. Yeah. Whereas with this, it's very much it's very much you and the car. Yeah. You're, you know, you're working with the gears to get the most out of it. That's 
very much what this car's about. It's about working together and stuff like that. stiff the arse end gets very like hopscotchy like yeah. if, if I hit bumps it sort of like sc skips from side to side so yeah it's it's a bit of an animal down these sort of roads What do you think of the ride comfort? Because I personally think it's horrible. Like it crashes over every little bump, and like it's very like bouncy. What do you think? Yeah, I know this is going to sound completely opposite. See what I mean? Yeah. See you mean now when the Mexican potholes? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
from that point of view. It felt good, like it felt alright. It was like not too hard, not like soft. It just felt right, if that makes sense. Like, yeah. obviously, even going over that bump, like, it felt alright to me. Yeah. It does, but again, obviously, this isn't my car, guys, but you know, it's. keep on saying hidden gem but I feel like that's right to call them a hidden gem but it's like people know about them but like you said they don't speak about them as they much they don't they definitely don't alright I'll pull up around here but um there's, a, there's gonna be a question I was gonna ask you but I can't, oh yeah that's it did it live up to your expectations like, what yeah. was you expecting from it and how, how do you feel about it I'll be honest with you mate I now this is gonna sound thingy I had good hopes like high hope well not high hopes but like a good expectation because i've seen you obviously when you've driven it i'm just gonna leave it like this for a second yeah it's fine but that it. no it's lived up to my expectation but again i'm someone who hasn't experienced variable valve timing or vtec or anything like that but you hear about it but seriously guys if you are looking Four. I know it's too hot. That's why I forgot to mention there's no AC in there, guys. So we've been probably on camera. You can see me sweating. It, but, it gets roasting in there. It's horrible. But yeah, no. Um, I think it's down there, isn't it? Yeah. But no. Um, I think they're good, good, good little cars. Seating positions, lovely from my point of view. Yeah. <laughs> For a chunky guy like me, it's actually <laughs> all right. I feel like I'm actually in. Yeah. And the interior seems to be like. A decent like quality if that makes sense not not taking the piss or anything guys but it's like what you expect with the japanese little cars and everything like that it's very like minimalistic minimalistic very simple. but functional yeah well. exactly it's again you could i don't know about you i don't know if you could take them on a long journey as such but i've taken this to peterborough Oh, I've been to pick up couple, the wheels i've been out there a couple yeah. of times but how was it like, like comfort wise okay well or? obviously when i took it to peterborough it didn't have the um, the the uh, the what am I trying to say? The N keys. Yeah, or didn't the, it? The, the the N keys. Yeah. Uh, that, I was trying to think of a better word for that. That's that's what it was. Just um, do the yeah. quote and N keys. Yeah. It, it didn't have the N keys on it. Yeah. It didn't have the loud exhaust. It only had the RSR back box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It <laughs> still had the no. It didn't have the seats in. I'd removed them after I broke up my first X. Um, yeah. So it didn't have the seats in. Um, and to be fair, like. Because it was mostly motorway journey, it was quite comfortable because there yeah. wasn't like, loads of like, potholes and tank no, driving no. and stuff. Uh, but even with just the RSR back box, the exhaust gets obnoxious like quite quick. Yeah. But now it's got the flipping two inch flipping cat back on it. It's mm. even worse. I mean, I could have ha I could happily also with my second X. Fucking hell! I sound, I sound like an absolute gigolo. <laughs> I'm not a gigolo, but coming down below with that guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, with my second X, obviously she lived folks inside of Ashford. Yeah, so and it's... Um, I could before the um, before the uh, two inch cat back, I could happily do that journey. Yeah. Now, now I've got the two inch cat back, and I sort of head down that way still to meet up with some other friends. It's um, horrible, absolutely mm. horrible. Yeah. It's obnoxious. It's droney. It's don't get me wrong, like, if I'm going out to, like, hone, like, it sort of, like, pre-prepares me, like, gets me hyped yeah. up, 
Um, but if I just want to go out for like a general drive, like when I go down to meet my friends, I just generally cruise down there. Yeah. It's it, yeah, it gets sort of obnoxious. I mean, obviously, I want to take this to Pod and do some car shows at Pod. Mm. And um, driving to Northamptonshire from Kent, oh, that's going to be a long and horrible drive. One part of the island to the other, ain't it? Yeah. For, it's, for like Mexico and everything like that, or Cuba. <laughs> Probably Cuba. I'm going to say that again. But going from one bit of that bit to the other, it's, yeah. It's, if if you want a daily drive one of these, I'd suggest not putting a loud exhaust on it. No. Um, obviously, if you want to do an exhaust mod, do it, but try and keep it quite refined because, especially if you remove the back seats as well. If you remove the back seats, it gets really droney in here. It's yeah. horrible. Yeah. But um, but yeah, that's that's my honest view from daily yeah. in it for two years of my life. Yeah. Um, well, I say daily in it for two years, about a year and a half I daily it for because obviously I've had the Audi. Yeah. Obviously. Uh, yeah, the Audi's going now. So. Yeah, so that's going. But is there anything else you want to finish this video off with? I uh, don't think so, unless I'm allowed to leave some plugs. Well, yeah, if so, you, you put your plugs, mate. So, yeah, um, obviously, like he's already said, he's going to leave my YouTube down below, which is obviously Z, uh, ZG Vlogs. Um, I'm, uh, it's, uh, yeah, ZG Vlogs, but it's automotive vlogs. It's not, you know, general, like, day-to-day, -day, I'm going shopping sort of vlogs. <laughs> it, it is all automotive yeah. stuff. Because, yeah. um, well, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm a car nut. Uh, my Instagram as well, which is on my wind deflector. It's uh, I'll put that in the why did I have to look up there to know my own Instagram? It's that underscore Jap underscore crap box. Um, so that's my Instagram, and then I've got a Facebook page as well for the um, for yeah. the YouTube, which is uh, ZG Vlogs. It, obviously, they've got the little at names as well. So if you type in at ZG Vlogs official, it'll come up. Yeah, that's my, um, I'll put my Facebook page. I'll put a link to obviously Zach's Facebook and the Instagram for this uh, like your Instagram for this car as well they'll yeah. be in the description obviously you guys know that we're based on Facebook so all you've got to do is just search it up for our stock uh, Instagram is at our stock 18 because that's when it was like founded obviously I didn't do that out of like oh I just want to put 18 yeah so, like, no I'll try and see if I can get like that um, and yeah guys if you want your car on the channel again uh, hit me up on Facebook, like, you know, obviously, you know my name, obviously, if you are part of the group, fair enough. Again, feel free to join the group, and obviously, give a like and a subscribe to this video, and yeah, pretty much that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, it might be something Ford-related, I don't know yet, but we'll see. Because I know this guy will probably do a double uh, review as well, back to back. Oh, is it that one? Maybe. I don't know yet. If it's that one, If yeah. it is, then <laughs> obviously, guys, there's a little treat for you. Because, again, that's all I can say. Information-wise, it's a fault, but obviously... Um, for those of you as well that um, follow my channel, I don't know how many of you do, um, it's something I've never experienced either. In fact, it's a totally different breed of car to what I've experienced before. So um, Same here. This will be the first time... Well... To be fair, like shall, I said, shall we drop a hint? Uh, seriously, you can uh, drop a hint. As, well, ain't really. Well, yeah, modern muscle. Yeah, I'd say all we can say is it's, it is a American model, like you know, American muscle, but modern. So obviously, you're probably gonna fit. You guys are probably gonna figure what it out. Uh, I it think they're gonna, gonna love the Dodge yeah. Neon. <laughs> SRT would be alright to be fair, that's a good shout. <laughs> no, no, no. no it's, 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 a, it's a Ford and it's a muscle car. Yeah. And yeah. I, I think we've just given it away in hints, but oh well. Well, you know, you guys know what it is, but all we can say also is quickly to think because we'll end this, we've got to end this video, guys, anyway. But um, yeah, we won't be pretty much, I've spiked to the owner, and there's no way any of us are going to be getting behind the wheel for boat insurance for reasons everything like that but even from a passenger point of view passenger rides i think sometimes are more friendly than driving i rides. think that'll be pretty like good. you get a more sort of like solid experience because when you're controlling the car you'll know what to expect so oh, yeah. i feel it won't be as thrilling whereas from a passenger if you're just sitting there like that and then all of a sudden you're like ah! It's like yeah, brilliant. It's it's like, the, things, ain't it? the review yeah. that'll be up on my channel in sort of like a week and a half, two weeks time, uh, the RS4 that I did, you, you, you'll see what I mean. I didn't drive that. No, that uh, was because, just a uh, Because if I break it, I repair it, and I don't fancy spending six grand on a gearbox rebuild. Um, <laughs> um, no, no. Yeah, um, all of that was just passenger ride, and honestly, yeah. being a passenger is a totally different experience to being a driver, and yeah. sometimes it can be more thrilling. In the case of that RS4 that I did, it was thrilling. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
So anyway guys, yeah, hit the uh, subscribe button and turn the notification bell on, click that as well. For up to date videos on my channel and obviously go over to Zach's, hit the subscribe. Even if you come from mine, just let him know you've come from mine. So yeah. And then vice versa as well, if you came yeah. from mine, let him know that you uh, came from mine. So <laughs> but yeah, but no, it's been a pleasure mate to actually drive this. Expectations were really good, so yeah. And it's uh, not as shit as people make it out to be. <laughs> no. Right, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.